Okay, thanks for joining me today. This is Kevin Davis, and now I would like to show you the basics of using a Microsoft Word document and creating one. So, I happen to have my Microsoft Word in a folder on here that I well, that I call Microsoft Office and I happen to have all of my programs associated with Microsoft Office 07 here so let's go ahead and as mentioned in a previous tutorial let's double click this because it's a desktop icon and here's a list of the programs from Microsoft that I have installed I have Excel, OneNote, PowerPoint, and of course Word so let's single click Word so we know it's selected now let's double click it let's give it some time to load Right in here you see it coming up, the Microsoft Office Word 07. Alright, now we're in. And when you open a document, the first thing you'll see is this flashing line, this flashing vertical line called the insertion point. And that's where it will let us type or put pictures in or whatever we want to do first. So in this case, let's go ahead and and do some typing. And again we have our insertion point positioned at the left margin, which we want to do. So let's just start out by typing Hello, my name is Kevin, period. And now that we've typed this text, we have a lot of options. And in this case, once, you have the, once you're sure that you have the insertion point located on this particular sentence or line, please triple click it, left click I mean, left click three times, and now the hello my name is Kevin is completely highlighted okay so we can do a lot of things now we can center it or align it to the right but again we want it on the left we can change the font if we want And you have a lot of options there. We have this. We can bold, underline, italics. Or we can adjust the styles. The title, or... There are a lot of options in this themes dialog box that we can choose from. So whichever one you want to pick, you may do that. And let's also increase the font size a little bit. And go up to this top A next to the 12 here. And you have two choices, but Let's try this icon first. Grow font. So let's click it twice. And now the font text box informs us that it went from 14 to 16. So we want it at 14. So now let's go to the decrease button, which is highlighted in yellow now. And now let's press that twice. And now we're back at where we started from. Now let's take it off of italics 
and we can also make it a different color change it to red we can highlight it in yellow but we're gonna undo both of those things for now and let's also indent it if we're gonna start a paragraph and it's very straightforward from there word can guide you it'll correct it can correct spelling or punctuation anything that you'd like it to do and finally I'd like you to take a look at the office button that's the final thing I'd like to touch up on for this lesson here it says once you click on it office button click here to open so that's prompting you to left click so we left click it and it's telling us on this side what recent documents we've opened and if you find one that you like left click it once but we don't need to do that yet and here's our save as screen and it gives us all these options of what we want to save it to Word document, Word template, Word 9703 but the most standard is 9703 in the word, regular Word document so you just left click and it will take you to this save dialog box and another important thing can be printing and we hover our mouse over the print screen it has the little right arrow there and it gives us the options to print where we get to choose our settings quick print where it'll take the default settings that we've set either in control panel or in word and it'll print it automatically and finally we can use print preview and that is just what it sounds like it'll tell us what our document will look like once we print it and that's a great way to check for words or pictures going off of the margin and uh, any errors that you might have if you don't want something going off the page onto the second page print preview really comes in handy and you also have your send prepare and publish ones and finally once you're done you can either press this close icon here this exit word one or or the X button up here but I wouldn't recommend that necessarily or you can hold down alt on your keyboard on the bottom left of your keyboard and then click F4 and then I mean press F4 on the top of your keyboard alright now this will conclude our basic tutorial on how to use Microsoft Word 2007 thank you very much for watching my name is Kevin Davis goodbye